So once you've downloaded Lion to your machine, you can present it presented with this screen. Uh, rather than click continue, if you open up your applications window, go to finder and open applications, go into applications and look for this, install Mac OS X Lion and right click on that and, sh and go to select show package contents. Once you're in show package contents, you want to go into shared support folder and there you will see the file install esd.dmg see it's 3.74 gigabytes that's the file that uh, we we want to use so what we're going to do now is we're going to use disk utility to mount that file I'm just going to open another window and I'm going to go to utilities and run disk utility within disk utility make sure you select the restore tab and then drag over your install ESD to the source destination and then your USB stick to the destination path. Make sure you also have erased destination selected. Then click on restore. Lots you want to erase, say yes, type your password. And that will now hopefully build a bootable USB Lion 10.7 USB stick for you. Now the uh, install's finished, we've now got a bootable Lion USB stick available that we can boot. So what I'm going to do now is switch to an external camera and we're going to erase this machine and install Leopard from scratch. Okay now so I've switched to my, I'm recording this from my iPad 2. So forgive me for the uh, sound quality, it might be a bit off and the video quality. So we've rebooted the MacBook Pro and we have our standard Macintosh drive and the now USB external Lion installed. So we're gonna boot that. Here we have the new Lion uh, language install screen and I'm going to select English as my main language as it is. Now it comes into the new Mac OS 10 utilities and it's given me the options do I want to restore from Time Machine Backup, reinstall Mac OS 10 get help online or go to this utility what I'm gonna do I mean you can go to reinstall OS 10 as it says set up and install a new copy of Lion what I like to do is go to this utility and actually erase the drive with the current operating system first so I'm gonna select my Macintosh HD here and I'm going to go to erase and I'm going to erase the disk okay so that's erased the drive I can now close the disk utility takes me back to main menu and now I can say install OS 10 and click continue Click continue again here. Agree to the terms and conditions. And select the drive we're going to be installing to. 
one thing I've noticed with Line now is that they've reversed scrolling. So on my touchpad on my MacBook Pro, normally you would scroll down to go down, it's now scrolling down to go up. That's something we'll change in system preferences once we've done the install. So we'll click on hard drive and click on install. Now that's going to prepare the machine and do the download. I'm going to pause the video here and we'll come back to it once it's installed. Okay, so Lion has uh, finished its install. Um, I skipped all of the add your account details. I'm sure you've all done all that before. Now we're into Lion. This is what it looks like on startup. You've got your dock down below as before. So what we'll do now is go into preferences and see if we can set the scrolling our trackpad scrolling. So I'll go to trackpad. doesn't seem to be in here All right, I might, might have to do a different another video on that to find out where that's going to be because we've not got a mouse connected so it's not there okay we'll come back to that and we'll probably shoot another video uh, seeing if we can uh, reverse that trackpad scrolling so let's see if I can do about this Mac and do a zooming there you go so you can see there we're running 10.7 and that is how you install OS 10 10.7 Lion on your computer look for some more videos if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe below and I'll see you again later